Hey, what's up, guys? One and a gamer here, OHG. And I want to talk to you guys about the new game modes coming to Assassin's Creed Bahala. All right, so we all know that you have settlements in the game that you can build up and level up as you progress to the story. All right, that that's how one uh, of the settlements looks like. That's the fish settlement. I'm not sure if you start off with that one or not. All right, and well, well, another game mode I want to talk to you guys about is the Riverside raids which is very very cool and challenging they're extremely hard and but they're very rewardful as you as you can see right there he's opening up a chest with a hidden one the hidden ones are the Assassin's Creed guys in the game all right so you you can get a special armor and many more all right now the John's Viking the John's Viking these this uh, mold right here all right keep in mind guys that the John's Viking you can share with a friend and the higher rank you are the more silver you guys get I'm not really sure how it's gonna work out on the single player Assassin's Creed game but it's been confirmed that you can do that all right so next thing I want to talk to you guys about is your skill tree and abilities to get more skills as you progress through the game, obviously you get more points, and this is how your skill tree is gonna look like to make you more stronger warrior, which is pretty cool. Chain assassination and many more. I just rank 15, as you can see, and your abilities keep increasing. All right, so next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is for the first season one, we'll actually get new player skills and abilities, including weapon and gear. And cosmetic items for the settlement long ship which is your boat and the, a free horse and a raven all right what you're looking at right there is called the haka chest that you can do a reroll and get anywhere from epic gear rare gear or legendary gear depending on um, your luck all right that's all season one guys and I we expect a battle pass in season one as soon as the game comes out well, at least I do. My personal opinion, um, I think o Ubisoft should give us that opportunity. All right, and in season two, uh, your skills will be based on your Valhalla score combat points and new cosmetics as well. And all right, so season three will be season two will be expected to be released around March 2021. Season three will be expected to be released around June. And season four will be expected to be released around four, um, around um, September. I'm sorry. And as you can see, it might go on for two years, guys. So be expecting a lot of content in this game. This is just the first three season, uh, the uh, first three season passes right there, and free seasonal content, guys. So there's a lot of a lot of content in this game coming up. And let's also talk about the Legend of Beowulf. And I want to say I'm really excited for this one because Beowulf, it sounds like we're going to fight a big monster. Originally in the Beowulf story, uh, he was fighting a dragon. But in this case, I don't think it's going to be a dragon. It's going to be more more like a werewolf or a big monster type of guy. And I hope, I'm hope i hoping uh, for legendary drops, for legendary armor or, or legendary we weapon or magical sword. You know, I'm really hoping for the best. But I highly doubt we're going to fight a dragon or I'm most likely it's going to be a werewolf. I'm pretty sure it uh, just makes sense being the legend of Beowulf. Alright, so. Alright, so the first expansion pack, which I made a video uh, on it yesterday, is called the Wrath of Druids. In this expansion pack, you'll start off in Ireland and you'll be able to fight the children of Nan which you can hunt down one by one and here's some gameplay showing the fights the children of non um, have exclusive gear and very strong armor which i'm pretty sure you can uh, get from them here's uh, the fights for, for on the children of non they look like um like special tribes and here's our beautiful scenery in the the, the wrath of druids that that's some content art right there and look, look, look at all that beautiful content art. This is all in the, sec the first expansion pack. And the second uh, expansion pack 
It's called The Siege of Paris. And that comes out in summer 2021. It takes place 12 years after the game uh, storyline starts. And here's some constant art as well. So you guys can see it. I'm very excited for all these uh, expansion packs. The Legend of Beowulf. The Wrath of Druids. And the uh, the Siege of Paris. The, the Legend of Beowulf is just a, a special mission. It's not an expansion pack. But I'm so excited for that as well. Here's some more content art from the second expansion pack as well. So you guys can check it out. And also, I want to mention to you guys that your cousin is called Sigurd in the game. And I'm going to show you how he looks right now. He's uh, very uh, very Viking looking, orange haired, uh, orange haired, and he kicks butt. Alright, so be expecting Sigurd to be by your side at all times and throughout the game. Well, at least I'm uh, expecting that for that to happen. Right there is Seeger. That's that's your cousin Seeger with the orange-haired guy. All right, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and check out my Discord, guys. We have a great Discord with that a lot of people that love playing this game. All right. So that being said, one-handed gamer OG. Hope you enjoyed the video. And peace out.